The holidays are a time to feel and create joy. And what could be more joyous than the look on her face as she unwraps a stunning new jewelry piece from Blue Nile? How about getting 50% off your purchase? Blue Nile offers premium quality, priced below traditional retail. Their online experts are available 24-7 to answer any questions and make sure you've picked the perfect gift. For a limited time, you can get 50% off at BlueNile.com. That's 50% off at BlueNile.com. Lucky Land Casino, asking people, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car, before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Tired of ads crashing your comedy podcast party? Good news. Ad-free listening on Amazon Music is included with your Prime membership. Just head to amazon.com slash ad-free comedy to catch up on the latest episodes without the ads. Enjoy thousands of ACAST shows ad-free for Prime subscribers. Some shows may have ads. Previously on Roll Britannia. The devil's arse in casting magic. Exercise caution. There is a certain risk involved with that in these particular waters. Are you coming with me or not? I'm going to say not. What? At which point he bravely, bravely turns and runs away. away. <laughs> and coming out of this crevice in the cliffside is a very sleek looking Ooh, ship. I beg you this, the commandant. Yeah. After it. The river, are you there? Captain? You know the direction in which the commandant has fled. I believe they might be heading back to Neverwinter across the devil's arse. This man must not reach Neverwinter. Set sail. Let's go, uh, let's okay. go. It smells like magic you out here. Get home. Get in there and I want you to I'm find gonna drop some people. Anchor. And if you don't you see do that, people, I'm going to fire a harpoon. I want you to tell me, okay? You do that you and, and I'm going to... Go for it. River, are you there? There's no response. You start hunting around the room. Cowering and sniveling, a human uh, man covering their face with their hands. So, yeah. Can I pull his hands off his face? This human has had their eyelids removed. I'm just going to throw him in the pocket. Pop, pop. Oh, yeah, sure. Casper, screaming in fear. What? <laughs> Kev, you feel something on your cheek. Remember, remember the crew? What's left of them is nailed to that fucking ceiling. Let's get out of here. Guys, get up top, quick. I'm going to get onto those cannons that you angled down, and I'm just going to fire one of them into that ship. Tide to the outside of the hull are bodies. Lads, unfurl the sails. we got to get the fuck out of here. A cannonball no. strikes the Valkyrie hard. I would like all of you to roll initiative, please. Uh... All caught up? Good. Let's get back to the action. asked you to roll initiative so let's get those numbers okay um, that's 16 that was an 18 for me i got a 14 uh i got a uh what is it oh, sorry hold on i'm gonna roll 22. for bill as 26 well. i'm gonna close down my spells app so there's no <laughs> temptation <laughs> <laughs> bill did really well <laughs> he got 20 but not uh, an, un- an unnatural one. Wow, so he's going second. Cool. <laughs> I wonder what he's going to do. <laughs> mm, fire that- a cannon? I don't know. <laughs> uh, right. In that case, uh, as you are fleeing, um, I am going to fleeing. set some boundaries for this, uh, for this engagement. So here's what's going to happen. In your turn, you can choose to do your normal... Uh, in get attacking and these sorts of things, defending, preparing actions, all those sorts of stuff. Or you can choose to focus your attention on helping the ship go faster. Okay. 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 So okay. For every turn you choose to spend making the ship go faster, you don't attack at all. Right. Okay. But you gain extra distance against the ship that is pursuing you. Okay. 
Oh. Uh, and if you spend enough turns between you, collectively gaining enough distance, uh, you may escape. Or you can choose to fight. Uh, or you can choose to flee for long enough to be able to potentially use magic. Who knows? Um, but just be conscious of if none of you choose to help the ship go faster, then they will catch you. That sounds horrendous. Unless you sink them. Part of me feels like I want them to catch us so we can find out what they are. I don't. There's been um, lots of skinning, and Keth would... I oh know Keth, oh no, he's... He, yeah, but he's, these were some, you know... For like unless I'm guard. on the cannon, I'm going to be relatively useless in terms of magic, so I'm just going to be concentrating on yeah, getting so, the fuck I'm, out of here. I'm, I'm, as, as someone who's mainly magical now... I'm going, to... I'm going to ask a character question for you all. Do any of your characters know lots about naval folklore? Categorically, um, no. Categorically, I feel like no. Maurus may have heard a few stories, but probably wouldn't remember them. I he feel like... He'd be very young when he would have heard them. Okay. I feel like Derek would be familiar with the more famous sort of ones, but not anything really, like, in-depth. Because, um, obviously, just purely because, like, prisons are, like, knitting circles, so, like, yeah. people would sit around talking and stuff. Okay. Um, but he also doesn't really know how to sail a ship that well. <clears throat> my my dad liked talking about him, but my mum wouldn't allow it in the house. Derek, in that case, <laughs> I'm going to ask you to roll a history check. Please. Okay. Uh, my history is not great. I say not great. I mean, I have a minus seven modifier. <laughs> yes, you do. So this better be bloody just good. Just history. Yeah, well, that's a that's, natural. That was... So it was a trade off for my yeah. switching powers. I've got minus yeah. seven arcana athletics and history or something like that. Including the minus seven. Um, uh, so it's a natural 19, so 12. Still. Well done. <laughs> okay, so with that, you don't know that. what these things are, but you vaguely remember from your time inside that you heard tales of some people who had been too long away from civilization. Right. And had turned feral. Okay. Yeah, I feel that rep- that would represent his his knowledge of the situation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh... You don't know the details of them. You don't know what they're called, but that's that's your that's the knowledge that you recall. Okay, yeah, no problem. Um, lads, these uh, these bastards are gonna. Um, I, I don't even know. I don't know what Kef saw, but these are gonna, f- you know, go to town on us if we don't get the fuck out of here. So, um, uh, I'm gonna. Uh, You're I, might, first. I might at first. Yeah, I'll just. Um, Number twenty six. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, how big is this ship compared to us? A lot bigger. It's a lot bigger. Okay. Yes. Uh, so we're like a minnow being swallowed by a shark, basically. Yes. Um, okay. Uh, uh, I would like to put all of my energy in helping into helping the ship go going forwards. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the fir- if if possible, I yep. would like to grab the handle of the wizard sleeve off the deck, though. Okay. Can you roll a d10 then for me, please? Yes. Five. You get an extra fifty yards ahead. Cool. Because of your assistance. Tell us what you're doing to make the to help the ship go faster. So I'm unfurling any sails and, and stuff like that. Um obviously we weighed anchor, didn't we? So Yeah. Yep. I would just start unfurling the sails because I don't think I'd have time in that period of time to do both. So I'd just okay. start unfurling the sails because I was already doing that. So cool. Um up next then is Bill Snakes bit. Well <laughs> I think I could go in. I could go into a long detail explanation, but I'm just going to defer Bill's go. He's a snake. <laughs> He's not okay, going to be snake. doing a great deal. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, okay, and Malus, you're up next. I'm just going to be sort of steering away from the ship that's approaching into the wind to try and uh, get us the fuck out of there. So you're helping the ship go faster. Yes. Yep, cool. Fine. Roll a d10 for me. Okay. That is a 8. Okay, you gain 80 yards. Nice. 
Okay. And next then is Jeff. I'm going to be using Umberly's blessing to uh, try and help the ship move forward. Um, so I'm going to try and kick that up again. Um, and I got a nine. Uh, okay, you gain 90 yards. Excellent. Boom. You're really gaining some space here. Yep. Excellent. That's good. Really good. And Keth? Keth would be seeing all this around him, but there's no way. I mean, he's retreated once. He'd particularly like it. So if he's going to have to retreat, he's going to provide some sort of covering fire. So he's going to jump on one of the cannons and fire back. Okay. Roll to hit then. Okay. That is a 17, Mr. Master. A 17 hits. Roll damage. So that will what be... Is that? Uh, what is that? What are you going to give so me? Can you please roll a D8? A D8? Yes, please. Right. Where are you, D8? You! You are an 8. A 3. A 3. So it does 13 damage. Mm. As this uh, cannonball fires from the side of the Valkyrie, flies soars through the air and crashes into the deck of this ship that is pursuing you. Happy with that. And Good. is it sinking? <laughs> no. Is it fuck? <laughs> <laughs> is it on fire? Although the no, right. although the looks ship like the that uh, Derek did blast some shots into before you set off is very much sinking. It's it's down to the poop deck now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like poop deck. It's a good thing. Uh, now it's the ship's turn, the pursuing ship, and it is going to. It casts sail. <laughs> it does, yes, and uh, it fires three rounds at you. <laughs> and can everyone with a an AC of fourteen or less? Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. That's me as well. Really? Excellent. I got 13 AC. I had to take, again, with the switching of people. Keth just uh, standing on the deck. Yeah. Hands Stacked, on I hips, think. Like, mm. <laughs> um, no problem. Rolling, sorry. Good news for you is I've rolled ridiculously low on the damage rolls, so you only take a grand total of 14 points of damage. Uh, 14? Each. Yes. Each. Jesus. Well, three... Three cannonballs have oh, okay. fired, have yeah, that's landed fair. in your, have landed in the ship, um, and um, bits of wood have started flying everywhere. Three I need, um, oh, Jeff I is great. Love. Jeff is looking really bad off as well here. Is it? Yeah, pretty. It's like, oh, this is. I mean, I, th- I had a bit of a sore so- shoulder that I thought was benign, but it's actually pretty bad. Um, this pain. The elixir is revealing. I've got. I've got a really risky Hail Mary play that we could do, though. Okay. Oh, I think I've just thought of the same thing as you. I look forward to, I look forward to hearing it in your turn, which is next. Really <laughs> risky. Yep. Strap in, man. <laughs> Strap on, Bob. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> What's happening then? Derek, what are you doing? <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, well, my, mm. my really risky play wasn't actually Bob, but that's a good oh. idea, was that we could all get into the pocket pub portal, and then when they catch the ship and come on board... Because they want to skin us, obviously. They find nobody here. We turn the tables on them. We jump on their ship. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> and then we've got the big, the meat ship. Yeah, we've got the big, big meat ship. Um, but do you reckon we could get in, and then Malrus could mage hand the like the door onto the side of our ship, so that way we can. So like... much could go wrong with that. Though. Yeah, <laughs> just be trying to think um, of meaty names for ships. And why would they all leave their own ship? Yeah, it's very true. Uh, um, There's a chance. Yeah. We, we, you get to just only be throw them off them. a little bit, you know. Um, Mr. Skinner. I'm going to put... Like might be more. <laughs> I'm going to put the rest of my energy into um, into ki- keeping us going. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, uh, tell us what you're doing. Uh, so now that the sails are unfurled, I want to try and get them in line with the wind, catch the wind as much as possible, say, like, I noticed that the, the, yeah. the mainsail is a little bit flagging, so I'll just, like, keep adjusting it and stuff. There's, uh, there's too much ruffling in the loft. Exactly. Uh, so you... Uh... <laughs> oh, loving all the naval research that's been happening in the last week. <laughs> uh, well, you, you say research. I have a uh, an RYA level three qualification, Tom. I, uh, mm. I have a, I'm a qualified mm. sailor. He's a yachtsman. No, I can sail dinghies. Um... <laughs> We're actually... The show's being broadcast in James's longboat. 
Uh, <laughs> yes, just uh, uh. <laughs> just to go into the sort of uh, recommendations <laughs> corner, I'd highly recommend a book called Under the Black Flag, which is all about pirates and mm. ship sailing and the infrastructure of piracy. And, and how much money do you get from uh, from sale of these Under books? the Black Flag? None at all. But <laughs> Ah, right. Well, fuck it. That, um. In that case, I'd recommend that you download the PDF and thus pirate it. Yes, I mean, that, that's in the spirit of the uh, of the Love it. of the book. It's I what they would have wanted. Yeah, yeah it is <laughs> clearly. And... <laughs> okay, Malrus. Um, I'm uh, well. Actually, to, before we do that, um, it, it, I mean, technically, Bill Bill Snakespear didn't have a go last turn. So, <laughs> does he want? Did he want to drop in, or is he just forfeiting his go entirely that turn? Oh, God. I realise he didn't drop back in, but you didn't shout out. No, because so this is where he would have gone. It's where he would have gone. I think he might. Yeah, there's not a lot a flying snake can do against the great big, the great big meat. Yeah, I mean, a a naval battle isn't usually the place for flying serpents, but you know, it's up to you. Depends how big. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pocket size ones, not so much. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. The size he is probably not much help. He's more (laughs) of a close combat, close quarters kind of snake. So yeah. he's just going to sort of. Maybe should strike a peace accord with them, and then he'll. And then he'll yeah. strike in the last break in, in his element. <laughs> he's just going to sort of. What are we doing? He's just, just going to sort of zip around the rigging at the top and just, just hang Pulling around on ropes and the bits of the sails to help him out. Does he get? Does he get? Yeah, to can roll he with help? To help her? Can he? Tell you- if you can explain, if you can justify to me how okay. Bill Snakespear is helping the ship go faster, I will allow it. Okay, so pushing it. <laughs> What? Also, Derek, can you roll a d10 for me? Because you didn't. Uh, do that. Sorry, yes. Um, As a flying seven. snake, he could be pushing it. Seven. Yeah. You gain seventy yards. Cool. So, Bill Snakespear understands that <laughs> if you want to go faster, you need to be lighter. So it's times to start jettisoning things. So he's going to try and find anything. <laughs> The main thing he can carry in his mouth. Yes, like gold pieces or <laughs> valuable jewels or anything that was stolen okay. from the previous Okay, ship. <laughs> No, that's fine. We can do that. Um, if he is going to be throwing valuables overboard, <laughs> I would like you to roll... Um, Couldn't he start with cutlery? What a uh, little prick. No, no. We've, he's... <laughs> Is we he a have fucking determined magpie? it is jewels and gold. <laughs> so, jewels and gold is what he's throwing. <laughs> Excellent. Please can you roll? This is why you have a bank uh, account, guys, because the <laughs> snake will fucking nick your gold. <laughs> uh, please can you roll? Or you spend all your money and don't really have any gold. In the world. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's um, what I did. 3d10. 3d10. <laughs> and tell me each individual number in order. Okay, the first one is a three. And the second one is... A seven, and yep. the third is a one. Okay, so three hundred and seventy-one pieces of gold. <laughs> um, it's eleven total, James. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> annoyingly, uh, Bill has managed to throw over, throw overboard some incredibly valuable items. Not all um, my books. <laughs> Not the no, back catalogue. Your books are fine, uh, but sadly, the there were some jewels among the uh, the things that were recovered from that ship, which came to a which uh, the ones that have been thrown overboard have sadly come to a total value of thirty thousand seven hundred and one gold. <laughs> Has just I'm been good. jettisoned overboard. No, no, no! I'm gonna fucking kill that <laughs> snake. <laughs> fucking snake! <laughs> Just that tail, snake goes. cat. <laughs> You're like, <"Ugh."> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, it could have been worse. Terrarium bastard. Oh. <laughs> could have been worse. Yeah, yeah. Could've Didn't know we had it anyway. So, how much speed yeah, did Bill make? Uh, roll a d10, then, please. Best be good speed. If this is one <laughs> now, yeah, it's gonna it be a to one. Be good yeah. speed. You're getting ten yards. <laughs> <laughs> snake meat. I hear snake meat. It's lovely. If I see a zero, well, we can offer him up to them. Does that mean ten? Yeah, zero is ten. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah. So you gain a hundred yards. So <laughs> you're welcome. You literally gain a football pitch. Says Bill. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, you're making some really good ground now. The ship is starting Stop to drop behind. Me up. And Malrus, it's your turn. Um, oh, God. 
still imagining just this snake flying about, just throwing glittering I did, jewels. I did have leaving a trail of gold and jewels behind you at the moment. <laughs> um, I am going to continue to help the ship go faster by doing okay. some steering into the wind and moving out of the way of rocks that might be in the water. And okay, just cool. Stuff like that. Excellent. Roll but a d10 same, then, please. At the same time, I'm going to shout over to Keth and go, you might want to try and throw an animal into the water. <laughs> okay. Why? What's he done? Roll a d10. <laughs> Can be interesting. <laughs> and that's an eight. Uh, that's you gain bad. 80 yards. How do these how do these people feel about bees? <laughs> no. Uh Jeff. <laughs> you're no up. more bees. Um okay. Uh Jeff's gonna continue to try and help the ship go faster by um bailing out some of the water and trying to patch up some of the holes in the, the hull of the ship, I imagine, from the cannonball that hit us. Um yep. and at the same time while he's doing that, he's gonna pull out his stone of far speech and go, Timbers, Timbers, can you hear me? You are gaining some ground and What's the range on a on a stone of fast speech? Six kilometers. Mm. Yeah, no, you can't reach him. It is the four point oh. Yes. Still like uh, seven, I think that one is. I can't yeah. remember off the top of my head. Still not far enough. Damn. I think it was miles, but yeah, you're still a long way from that. How big is the devil's so, ass? Uh, more than six miles. Gaping, <laughs> a gaping ass. <laughs> yes. Sorry, I've had a use method. So yeah, you don't hear a response <laughs> come back over the radio, unfortunately. Keth? But. Oh, no. Uh, Chip, did you roll your d10? Four. Four. You gain 40 yards. Yeah. You're really starting to, you are starting to put some real ground between them, though. The, the, the ship is started. There are a few cannonballs sort of flying in your direction. They're splashing a little bit behind you at the moment. So you, you feel like you're just about to sort of drift out of range, maybe. Keth, what are you doing? Another shot. Okay. Back at the bowels of the the the, the and he's still not drunk. Okay. No. Um, roll to hit at disadvantage, then please. Isn't too far away. You're quite far away. Yeah. Good. Okay. Uh, Gotta hope for the wind. She want a little wind assist. <laughs> if it From blows it the... right into the cabin. Uh, in, fa- in fairness, does... it's not going to be. He's not going to have much wind help because. He's going to be fighting against the wind because around us it's is blowing wind in your direction. Yeah, he's going in our direction. So, so it's just yeah. the cannibal just sort of hovers in midair and just drops. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a, a six. <laughs> a six. A six does not hit. Does it not? It, yeah. No. I, lo- I like that image. Funny that getting halfway there and you're like, uh, uh, no. Flop. Do you know they did that on MythBusters? If you uh, if you fire an object backwards at the same rate from a from a moving thing at the same rate it was moving forwards, it just drops straight down. Ah. The more you know. It's yeah, physics. You Roll Britannia. <laughs> Equal and opposite reactions. Not Newton's third law or whatever it is. Who knew? Yeah. Um, they did. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, yeah, the, you don't help the uh, ship gain at all. And but it's not firing good. backwards. It's sort of like a... Yeah, no, know, that like doesn't help. Jet. Okay. Nope. <laughs> no. It's just like um, uh, how taking a poo doesn't make you lighter. No. It's exactly the same. <laughs> Extensive studies. It doesn't studies. make you go faster either. <laughs> no. <laughs> but farting would make you run faster, right? No. That's why I lost that race and embarrassed <laughs> myself. <laughs> yeah, that was a it was a school sport today. Yeah, went really I tried wrong. to forget specifically because obviously you haven't been a pupil for about fifteen years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to lie to you here. Stop I rolled, making me uh, into this person, Alex. <laughs> yeah. I rolled the three shots at disadvantage because it, it's right. long range now. And it's a bloody good thing too because out, th- out of those six rolls of the dice, I did roll three 20s. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that we got them out of the way on a disadvantage right. rolls. Yeah. Yes, you have. Yeah. <laughs> you can get them out of your system That's right That's gone now, really well for you, that, yeah. that disadvantage has really helped you. Um, yeah, the other shots don't even hit. So I rolled some... I rolled some terrible shots and some bloody good ones there. Oh, and, and disadvantage worked really in your favour. So you hear another three shots ring out and they splash behind you. Um, and you see the, the ship me. now is, <laughs> is uh, really starting to drop back. And I think uh, it's Derek's go once more. Um, so I'm going to... Um, this time I'm going to um, uh, uh, trim some of the sails um, and start to sort of... M- 
allow us a little bit more maneuverability just as we go through some like rocks and stuff like that. So we don't. Like, yep. Okay. Roll a d10 ourselves. then, please. Um, I hope it's going okay back there. <laughs> Haven't been shot in quite a while, so that's probably <laughs> a good sign. Uh, that's a one. <laughs> yeah, you gain ten yards. That's better than nothing. That kind of fits. That kind of fits with the maneuverability as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I guess it's Bill Snakespear's go. <laughs> How much more does he want to steal? <laughs> no jet propulsion. Put him fly behind the ship, please. Don't steal it. Yeah, get him old. to flap his wings. <laughs> <laughs> Just bite the back of it and flap. Yeah. 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 What would that go? <laughs> <laughs> nothing nothing okay fine yeah he's just got he's not even like a d4 <laughs> <laughs> be kind okay, yeah. no okay if yeah if you want him to do that you can get him to do that if you want and i will allow that as an assist <laughs> yep uh no no roll a d10 if you want oh, oh. sick yeah roll wow. a d10 roll a d10 okay yep. cool yep hope you come d10 it's your go I reckon <laughs> what is it what do you gain <laughs> what's the number Ten. Ten. Uh, you gain a centimetre. Uh, nice. That's fine. Nice. Very just, nice. It just go. It all counts. I'm biting on it. Yeah. <laughs> nice job, Bill. You can do it, buddy. <laughs> I fucking hate you for throwing away our wealth, you bastard. <laughs> Shut up. At least he's not doing it now, Derek. <laughs> he's distracted. <laughs> There's none left. As he just oh, even the painting overboard. I thought oh. he was. Oh, that painting you got. That was. Mm. Yeah, he left the frame, but the artwork he ripped out. And what about <laughs> is? Please say the globe's still there. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, the globe is. It. But all the all the crystal stoppers from the decanters have been thrown overboard. <laughs> so all I things are just sloshing about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now it's just like the horrible student punch in the big bowl <laughs> under the kitchen table. It's just a big globe of all the with spirits. shards of oh. glass in there. <laughs> I, I, I can I can deal with that. We can we can drain the glass. <laughs> this is not the problem. <laughs> <laughs> in Soviet Russia we have glass for breakfast <laughs> we use it for um, tooth floss what do you have <laughs> it is good for irrigation of body yes <laughs> mm. Gives you so, I don't know how this reference all the even happened <laughs> less, less than know. 30 minutes and it sounds like Tom's always half gone <laughs> <Yes. Chinese master. laughs> it is strong um, stuff it's now pretty next? much vodka that's uh, amazing. Maurus, have you, have you been, or was that just Bill Snakespear's go? Maurus is no, it's just Bill Snakespear's go. <laughs> 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 it's easy for you to say. Maurus, it's your turn. <laughs> this is too much rum. Um, okay, so I'm going to get on the really, really, um, you know, the extra stone of past speech. Um, but this time I'm going to call Timbers. What the one that which which stone of fast speech? The, the, one that's you know, the, extra the one. really really you know extra the one, that, one. The one that's the extra one. one the extra the one that was one. for the contacting river one. yeah yeah it, it just contacts river fuck's sake so it's is it like a walkie talkie then it's a stone <laughs> <laughs> when will you learn do you want Captain Timber's number I've got it saved here in my other stone I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it I'm gonna uh, see if I can get river you you don't get river no <laughs> okay. <laughs> So hang on, Timbers was like, here's a stone. If you ever need t- rivers, if you ever need river, just contact <laughs> yep. her. And yep. every single yeah. time we've tried to contact her since, it's not worked. Hmm. Well, um, I thought, I, you know, I thought, A, I'd try Timbers, but apparently that's not going to work. So I'll just call River. Yeah. It's, a special, it's a special long range one that uh, is only paired between two devices. No, but I she's turned her stone off. Stupid yeah, girl. would seem so. She's sat on it. Or it's on airplane mode because she's doing a... Um, I wonder why you might turn a de- one might wonder why you might turn a device off that makes loads of noise. You're hiding. You're in a lecture. Yeah, but that doesn't help not, us. Having an interview. Silent. That doesn't help us. Put it on silent. <laughs> having an interview. Yes. Yeah. Why why would you like to join our man skinning crew of pirates? <laughs> Get out. <laughs> How long I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. You, you can't be part of our cannibal crew. This is just too unprofessional for us. <laughs> we take our skinning very seriously here. <laughs> okay. Um, Back to the story. Jeff? Sorry. Uh, uh, sorry, Maris, did you do something? I'm no, sorry. I didn't fuck all. Just carry on. Uh, okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. He tried Jeff, to call. I tried to call somebody. Yeah. Do you not want to help yeah. the ship? 
I'll, I'm gonna no. I'm gonna nudge my and be like, all right, I'll do it then, and go over to the sail that's just sort of flapping because it's lost the wind and tighten it, yeah. up, help the ship out, um, and just sort of go, no luck with rivers with river then. Um, that's a shame. Maybe she's oh, busy. No luck with them rivers then. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's just the one river actually. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> yeah okay roll a d10 then please Yay. <laughs> um oh nine again nine you gain 90 yards Boom. are we free yet we're almost back at the <laughs> almost we back the, where we started are we out the devil's ass yet sure don't know. Oh. Yeah, none of you know. none of you are checking a map or anything so that's true oh my bad jeff do you <laughs> oh god <laughs> just use magic just in case if anyone covered in spaff and then can i use my movement to <laughs> No. Maurus. <laughs> Maurus. Oh, oh. Okay. Uh, Don't we'll cover uh, Keth, your turn. If that's what you're getting excited about, Derek. No, 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 no. <laughs> I've got an idea, though. I've got a really cheesy idea. Ugh. Ugh. Keth, you're up. Keth, it's your turn, mate. Go? Yes. Yes. Another returning shot, because it's worked quite well so far. Okay. Disadvantage. I mean, yes. There's not much else I'm going to do. Roll to hit with disadvantage. The ship is looking quite small now. It's all right. The lads are the lads are taking care of the speeding away business. To where we don't know because no one's checking the map. Keth, oh, never mind. We're <sighs> headed. Yeah. Ten. Ten does not hit. Ah. Uh, you fire off a shot and it just you see it just splash into the ocean. Warning shot, you meaty bastards. <laughs> 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 Meaty fast. And the pursuing ship is going to do nothing. In fact, it's it's going to sort of uh, slow a little, and uh, it seems to have given up the chase slightly drop at this point. Should Derek, it's your turn. Ah, there you are. I've been looking for you lot. If you're not quick... You're going to miss the most important part of the show, the moment with the master. So settle down and listen up. There's a lot of important things to cover. Right. First things first, all of us here at Royal Britannia want to scramble up the rigging, somehow squeeze into the crow's nest and the roar. A huge thank you for being here. Without you lovely lots on board every week and supporting the show, we would be absolutely nowhere. And we're especially grateful as now we've tipped over 42,000 downloads, which is amazing. Right. Shout out o'clock, and it's Pedro's round. Pedro! <laughs> Shout out scroll. Toot sweet. <laughs> ah, there you are, boy. Hmm. What are you looking so smug about? You've been oddly well behaved the last couple of weeks, and it's making me suspicious. We'll hand it over then. Thank you. Now, shoo, 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 shoo. I've got my eye on you. So this week's shout out goes to Corin Sparks, who's been in touch with us through Twitter. We're so glad that you're loving the show. You've had plenty of time to catch up by now, so. We'd love to know what you think. Right. Everybody get down. It's an incoming random select... <laughs> oh. Pedro? What, what, are you, what are you doing here? This isn't your bit. <laughs> really? Are you sure? You mean that this is the... F- <laughs> oh, good boy, Pedro. I am delighted to announce that this week we have an actual celebrity shout-out. Yeah. Bernard Robichaud, who plays Cyrus on Trailer Park Boys has started following the show on Twitter. He has a blue tick and everything, or a white tick in a blue circle. I don't know. What do you think? So, if you're listening, Bernard, thank you so much, and congratulations for being the first real live celebrity to follow the show. Just um, just tell your friends, yeah? Maybe the cast of Trailer Park Boys or something. Um, Just have a word. Cool. What's that? You want your own shout-out, you're overflowing with ideas for the show, and you want Derek to steal your ear. Oh, oh, Derek, that's do. Oh, no. Oh. Well, apart from that last one, it's incredibly easy to do. Just look for Royal Britannia on pretty much any social media, you name it, we're there. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, even Discord. We love chatting with you lot. So, don't be shy and get in touch. Now, we know there are loads of ways of listening to our show, so wherever you decide to get your podcast from, if you're enjoying the show, and if you've got this far, you must be. Why not take a minute? Just give us a lovely five-star review, eh? Yeah? Some kind words from you guys really help to keep the good ship Royal Britannia afloat, and it also helps 
more fantastic people just like you to discover the show. And if you haven't already, make sure you've bashed that subscribe button. Otherwise, Keth will lash you to the mast for Bill to use as target practice. Right, that's enough for now. I'm a very busy man, and these four have been left unsupervised for far too long. So get out of here and go be pirates. Go, go! I was going to say, um, Malrus, I don't really know how much this magic stuff works, but that ship's got a bunch of people strapped to it, right? Couldn't you just mm. do like whole person and like hold them in place? I mean, you could hold one of the people on, <laughs> on that's strapped to the outside and it would hold the whole ship in place. Would it though? I don't know. I'm not a magician. A no, whole person just paralyzes, <laughs> doesn't it? A magician. Yeah. <laughs> It I've just not been some that a weird skinless, magic man. paralyzed person on the side of the ship. Well, you know, <laughs> maybe that's the equivalent to our current situation. <laughs> um, uh, 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 I'm going to... Uh, um, uh, Malrus, um, it, what do you see? What do you see behind us? Are they giving chase? Doesn't look like it. Right. It's time to turn the tables on these bastards. Let's bring us around for a broadside. <laughs> Are we going to go for a hand, hand break turn? They're really far away. I'm an expert shot and I can't hit them. I mean, if you're if, if you're up for it, we could just dive back in and start firing on them. Why would we want to do that? Because they might have River Captive. <sighs> I guess. Uh, that's a fair point. Oh, fuck. Well, we literally... Fine, are, it sounds like in. we're literally just heading into the slaughter here. So... We, I mean, we, look, we're not, I'm happy, we're, we're I'm happy to fine. be outvoted. Jeff just goes fine and kicks the anchor down. Question. Why have you all just spent so many turns running from this thing if you're going to go and attack turn it? And fight <laughs> it. <laughs> no. and what is, I mean, do what you want to do, but we I mean, fight the one we've just spent, we've just, yeah. we've just spent like four goes around running away from this. Are we at, can, can I roll to see if we're out of the devil's arse? Uh, you can go and check a map if you want. Or okay. cast a Roll, spell. Um, <laughs> cast we a spell. We... <laughs> oh, Jeff, the take the wheel. Oh, I've, just, I've, I've kicked the anchor. Okay. I'm going to check the map. Just, if, they've, if they seem to slow and right. stop, then we're Do stopping. I, roll investigation. I didn't say stop. I said they slowed. Okay. So now well, you have actually stopped up, we'll, we'll you're still, You can still see them. All right, but this and they're approaching. Well, there was a lot of slower. conversation about it, and then Jeff went fine and kicked it. You know, we don't have okay. to kick it if you want, but I mean, that's, that's why I said I did. But and then it wasn't your go. Oh, no, no. If we're still in but, initiative, yeah. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> um, <laughs> then no, that didn't. I think Derek. Derek's gonna. Um, <laughs> I thought if we were out of range of the ship, we weren't in initiative anymore. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, still very much in initiative. Um, okay. I would like to hold my action until they get within firing range and move over to one of the cannons. Okay. Um, Bill Snakespear? <laughs> Def- I'm going to defer his go. What, what on earth is he going to do right now? Nothing. <laughs> Apart from steal things or fizz about, so... He's just going to stay hanging up near the crow's nest. Okay. It's difficult uh, to know what to do until we know where we've actually run to. Yeah. So, so Bill can't do anything. Just, we just have to kind of wait for Malrus uh, to check the trip. Malrus, it's so, your turn. Let me just get... Is Jeff dropped the anchor? Are we stationary or are we well, still... No, it, it, technically, it Jeff hasn't it dropped like it a... until next turn. Yeah. Okay, right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go and investigate the map, I suppose. Okay. Just see what's happening. Uh, roll. Um, Consult the GPS. I have to look up a skill here. Um, the global pirates have. Guess. Intelligence. It's probably a good one. Where's that? Um, <laughs> Very bad <laughs> intelligence. Where should it is so just investigation, oh, I think, would I'm be a probably sorry. the best. Okay. Just above yeah. investigation. Uh, that is a unnatural 20. An, an unnatural 20. Yes. Maybe. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You have a good idea which direction you set off in. 
because uh, there was a little compass next to the, the helm, helps you keep direction. And you know roughly how fast you were going. You were keeping a sort of my you were keeping an eye on the sort of speed of the Valkyrie, uh, even with its damage and uh, and all sorts, and the acceleration that was given by throwing all those valuables overboard and the very small boost that Bill Snakespear gave it by flapping away at the back and MVP. all the uh, the good sail work <laughs> that was done by Bill everyone else. Um, and um, you can tell that you have headed roughly in the sort of direction that you were that you came from but not not exactly you you've drifted further south than that but you are very much on the cusp of the devil's arse on, on the anus itself you might say okay we're not deep within the wreck skirting the, the corona of the arsehole yes. <laughs> guys it looks like we might be on the edge of the anus ah oh, that's a good sign um is there any chance, lads, that we could tempt them back towards the island and get Timbers to fire on them with the big gun? I doubt it. He hasn't got the firing pin. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good point. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Palace um, just holds up the firing pin. <laughs> what about such a good point? What about all of the other guns that we've got? As he's just using like a toothpick. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. He's turned it into an earring, you know. <laughs> Real Bugs Bunny moment, though. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Jack? Um, this phone, Pete. going to be pretty hard. <laughs> um, What about all the other cannon, then, that he's got? That they've got? I thought so. Because, lads, I don't know about you guys, but I've lived quite a long time, but I've discovered that there isn't a problem that can't be solved with overwhelming firepower. <laughs> <laughs> Just we must have gone to the same school. Though. I never went to school. School of hard knocks me. Oh yeah, I qualified there too. <laughs> oh nice. Didn't we sail quite far to the arse in the first place? Didn't that take a couple of weeks? Yes, it's yeah. quite a long way to go. Quite a few days. We're not going to have the help of Timbers. We're on our own. It's here. us and the meaty invader. Well, we were sent out to find that guy who ran, who fled. He was clearly on board that ship based on that letter you found, but we never actually found him. I he's probably dead. I don't think well, we can take on this ship. Yeah, but it's so do we want to go back to Timbers and say we probably did the mission that you told us to do twice? Yeah, very true. Exactly. Like because yeah. then we might have to go and do it a third time, and that Kef, would really you that's just getting boring. Then isn't it? You didn't yeah. happen to see him, did you? When Imagine you if you could lie. The stuff on the ceiling. I don't want to lie to Captain Timbers. Yeah, I mean he seems. My first time I met Timbers, remember I was told. I think I was told that he was the kind of guy that could detect any kind of lie. And I think all of us shit ourselves a little bit and started mm, blabbing all yeah. of our deepest, darkest secrets to him yeah. in private. I know I did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know I did. So mm. I feel like I might not be able to lie to him very successfully since I can't even <laughs> convince half the people we meet standardly that I'm who I say I am. As for recognising the people in the boat, it's it's remarkable how similar humans look without their skin on. <laughs> That's a very good. That's... Uh, all, good points all round, lads. Well, well done. That, that feels um, a bit offensive, to be honest, Keth. I... No. Dwarves <laughs> might be a little bit shorter. <laughs> I mean, you have got uh, you have got someone on board. You have got someone on board at the moment who may be able to answer your question. I was going to say we yeah, do have a but witness. He's like, <laughs> yeah, it's true. We have calmed like... down after a few. Strawberry daiquiris in the in the in the wizard's sleeve. Strawberry okay. daiquiris. That's I'm what gonna it's gonna a Frozen daiquiris. Where, where is um? <laughs> can I make a perception check to just see if the ship's still on course to approach us? Uh, yes. Uh, you can see where it is because there's a huge 11. cloud of flies uh, around. The it. ship doesn't in, does indeed appear to be closer now. Oh dear. And it's still on track. To I'd us. imagine during this conversation, are we still moving forward? Because Jeff hasn't dropped anchor yet. Uh, you but are. I'd imagine but, it's slowed um, a bit. But you no, have yeah. slowed, which is, yeah. Um, Why they are now gaining on you again? Oh, um, even with Umbali's blessing, yeah, just yeah, yes. Okay. Well, you've slowed. Everyone's yeah. got much faster. Ships. You're not making any extra effort to move. Umbali's blessing or not, yeah. you've still slowed. Whose go is it next? Is it? It'll be Jeff's go next after okay. yours. Um, Can we just outmaneuver them? Either we keep running or we turn and fight. If we're outside the devil's ass. Then we could use magic. We're on, on, on the cusp. God. You're, we're rimming. The, okay. Yes. Uh, I'm going to keep. We're rimming the. We're rimming the devil's arse. <laughs> if we um insert arse joke here. 
Can I just can I make a perception check in the the hull area? I want to check to see if there's any more damage that needs repairing, and just make sure we're you not. You certainly can. Roll perception. Oh no, there's not a one in front of that three. Okay, um, just a standard three. That says five in total. Um, you, uh, it, yeah, you can't see anything. It's a bit dark down there for you. Sam, I'm just going to grab a bucket and start sus- this sus- suspiciously rising water, but I don't think there's any holes, but <laughs> no. start bailing it out because well, yeah. it's coming from somewhere, just, but there's clearly not holes. <laughs> it's all the tears of that witness. <laughs> Who left the plug in the bath? <laughs> uh, <laughs> there isn't one. Oh, then we've got a bigger problem. <laughs> <laughs> the bath's leaking. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's put a bath in here and it's leaking. <laughs> Um, just a plug hole in the bottom of the ship yes someone's left the plug out of the ship um, what are we going to do okay. what on earth are you I, uh, we could either so roll a d10 like I say yeah. we um, could either depending run on what we do I'll yeah. roll a d10 uh, okay or we draw them out of the devil's ass so that we can just you guys can use magic it's the only you know it just puts us on yeah. a little bit of a better footing yeah Go on, to man. fight them yeah. or we run away that's the other that's the only two we must I fight we have to run right, right. we've got to get fight, past fight these, to right. run away we're maneuvering for the next attack that's what we do we draw we'll draw them out we'll extract them from the arse and then hit them in the arse okay. <laughs> yes okay. pluck them. roll a d12 pluck them from the devil's arse roll a d12 like a worm. D12. yes please 10 Okay. Very sad. Okay. What what comes out of uh, Bob? Oh, <laughs> oh you're bored. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that That's means. That's your takeaway. That's your takeaway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> James is bored. He is bored. <laughs> oh fuck! It's a kraken, isn't it? No. Please no, before. It's not. Do you know what it's comes out, there. James? No, you tell me. <laughs> Give okay. us the name. Urban truth. Urban truth. A name? Urban truth. Okay, if I said, because I have named all of the creatures, I've assigned a name okay. to all of the creatures that could come out. I'm excited. Yep. I have a whole list. So if I would say to you, uh, Benedict Stingerbatch, or oh, Beaches. It's a swarm of bees, isn't it? Or Beelzebub. It's a swarm of bees. Oh, no. Um, okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> How many come out? Uh, seventy-five bees 70. erupt from Bob. Oh, Jesus! Oh! <laughs> and swarm around the deck. Oh no! I'm glad I'm not on the top deck. Oh, um, bollocks. I sh- sh- shouldn't have won this honey suntan lotion. <laughs> uh, everyone on deck takes uh, three stinging damage. Oh, God. Uh, so we all take three stings. Three. Mm. I'm on exactly half health now. Uh, Am I on deck good. still? If I'm down fixing no, the hull. No, you're down. Yeah. Thing, yeah. No, you're down fixing excellent, the hull. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm in the deck. cabin, I suppose. Maris is in the map room. That's all right. In the map. So you're fine. That's fine. So it's just Keth and Derek, isn't it? Yeah, it's just uh, yeah. yeah, just Jeff and Derek. Oh, Keth and Derek. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Sick. Great. Okay. Uh, if we oh. once we get moving, these these should, uh, once we get moving, all these bees should fly off. I think, like you said, <laughs> they're sea bees. Sea bees. You can get sand bees sea and ice sea bees. 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 <laughs> Boobies. I remember seeing that on the sphere <laughs> in a shop window. I see some bees. <laughs> If only you could get, you could have you had, one. Let's try and you draw them out. Like you, you bloody luxury. <laughs> I see CBBs. <laughs> Let's do what Maura says. Let's draw them out of the arse and use magic on them. Okay. Maurus's idea. Did Maurus Let's say do that? that. Did that? Was that Maurus's idea? Was it? <laughs> I think it's probably Derek. Nope. <laughs> no. Okay, Captain Maurus. <laughs> He's the captain uh, of the Good idea, ship. Captain. That's such a good idea. Fuck off, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean that. I really mean that. Uh, Derek, everyone he, on board. But he's not a gnome, Derek. <laughs> oh. Everyone on board. <laughs> oh, I know. Can you all please <laughs> roll a uh, dexterity saving throw? Oh. 
Oh, I what is was purple dice? Uh, What's going it's a 21. on? 21, well done. Oh, Dex. Uh, What's um, happened to all of us now? That's um, 13. 21 as well. Mm-hmm. 20, another good 21. Six. Six. Um, Keth yes. and Jeff. Yeah. Uh, Everyone on board is discussing avidly what they're about to do while seemingly no one is at the helm. <laughs> and nope. a, uh, something comes at the ship from yeah. under the water, leaving a trail of wake in a line from the ship that is pursuing you. There Torpedo. is an explosion at uh, the... Blunt end of your oh, ship. No, I'm no! Meet Pedo. And much water begins to flood the ship. Jeff and Keth, you are thrown to the ground by this... Well, thrown to the deck by this explosion. Well, I'm under the deck. And net. Maurus and Derek, you uh, you manage to uh, keep your footing. And your ship is now uh, struggling I'm, quite heavily. I'm in the hull. Does that mean I'm prone with water fl- filling up? Yes. Um, um, I was in. Uh, oh no. I, I was in the navigation mm-hmm. where the map is on. Yes. So am I okay? Or... Yes, because the the explosion happened below the waterline. Okay. Um, I'm going to go down to see where Jeff is. You're heading below deck. Yeah, and yeah. I'm going to use the mend cantrip if I'm able to. Oh, yes, you absolutely are. Risky, but on, nice uh, try. The hole. Yep, do it. Necessary, um, but risky. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I'm going to touch the hole. And see <laughs> can, can Let's hope we're not still in the devil's ass. <laughs> uh, I don't know. You tell me how. Do you, you tell me how mend works? What I happens just when you touch the hole, Maurus? You just. I just touch. You circle your finger around the hole a little bit. Yeah. Then you touch, and uh, yeah, you have mended. A, a large hole in the ship. There are a number of smaller holes that are still sprinkling water into the uh, into the bowels of your ship. However, many can deal with that. double. And uh, can you roll a d one hundred, please? Yeah, sure. So We're not touched, sinking. He so. touched a hole in the bowels of the ship, did you? <laughs> <laughs> with his finger, <laughs> next to his unconscious friend. <laughs> yes. I will. Oh. We're not actively sinking. Okay, that's okay. It's 46. Did we take any damage from the hit, by the way? Did I miss a roll? Uh, you didn't. Oh, um, but Maurus, you cast Levitate on yourself. Woo. Yeah. Um, and can you roll a d100 again, please? Because you cast a spell. Oh, God. <laughs> That's a two. Shit, yeah, oh, hello, mate. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing up there on the sea, then? Hello. Can you roll a d100 again, please? <laughs> <laughs> you are going to cast uh, another... You are going to roll on that every, every turn for the next minute. Oh. Should I roll again? Yeah, roll again. Okay. <laughs> roll a one. Oh. Uh, disregard that one, so that's fine. You get a free pass this turn. Okay. Um, <laughs> Jesus. Okay. How did it all go so, so wrong? I know. At least we're not sinking much anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that Every cloud. Grace. Yeah. Derek, where are, uh, where where do we get to? I think we will uh, jump to Derek in jump to Derek at the top of the order. Derek, um, what are you doing? Where are you at the moment on this ship? I am on deck. Having uh, you're on deck. Okay, yeah. so let me explain to you what what happened. You know, you, you were having this wild discussion with uh, with Keth at the time, and a loud explosion, a big spray of water. The, the your boat was shaken. Keth was thrown to the floor you you almost were but your dexterity is such that you managed to catch yourself and you stayed standing and can you roll a perception check please That's cocked. much better um uh 20 not that uh as you look around and you clear the salt water from your eyes you don't see the ship anymore Do I see any rippling of water or stuff that could indicate where it might be? No. You just don't see it's it. It's just... Yep. Lads? I... Uh, yeah? Yes? Um, I, I'm not going to say it's gone, but I can't see the ship anymore. Is there, Are you sure? Is there a type of ship that might be able to go, like, under 
sub the water line, like like under Possibly. the marine level. No, it's impossible. Well, some kind of like weird marine sub vehicle below <laughs> below marine. So like a vehicle, like a submarine or something. No, like, no, oh, no. That, it wouldn't be called sounds, something. No, that, weird, that, sound, that sounds ridiculous. ridiculous. No, 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 no. Oh, no. no. Um, <laughs> crazy it would notion. be called something like like um, an underneath galleon or something like that. Yeah, an, un- be like, an underboat. Yes. Yes, underboat. <laughs> oh, um, that's what I'd call it. That's the most logical thing to call it. Oh, yeah, them. absolutely. Of course. Um, of course. <laughs> did any anybody happen to catch any markings on the on the ship? Oh yeah, all the bloody bodies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty unique. And lots of red paint. Yeah, lots yes. of that red paint. It might not be paint. Um <laughs> oh. Could be so- jam. Could be jam. Could be. You're not. Do you right. know what? It could be. Lads, um, are we are we getting out of here or going? We need to make a decision now. Are we get out of here or going home, or are we? I think we should before that bag starts doing more things. We should definitely decide Mara's to do something. 100. Okay. Uh, I don't see the ship anymore, so it's just. I'm going to say we're out of initiative order for the time being. Okay. Uh, that's an eighty-one. Oh God. That's a new one. Um, Should we creep back in? I'm going to start. Need to go find... <laughs> Is mending a counter? Uh, uh, Maurus, you take another action right now. Oh, nice. Ooh, what, do, what do you want to do? Anything you want. Oh, um, I'm going to go back up to the um, top of the ship, leaving Jeff in the water, and take the uh, the wheel. Well, I mean, you are floating, so you're levitated cool. still. You're gonna, I'm you're sure it's hang on to the wheel. Controlled levitation, right? I'm not just sort of like. Well, I started just floating all the way up. When you're levitating, I think you you can sort of just you sort of move by pushing off of surfaces. Is the way okay. I see. Oh, it. sort of like right. in the, yeah, in space kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. If he goes outside, will he so, just float uh, away? Well, I start. Uh, if he doesn't hold on to something, yeah. Well, I'm gonna yeah. hold hold on to things as I try. Okay, to cool. Cool, and you hang on to the wheel, just hopefully yeah. waiting for your. Levitation to end, so you can yeah. take control. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> excellent. Maris, this is no time to be gallivanting about in the skies. We've got a <laughs> bloody job to do, mate. <laughs> so, are you uh, are you going to set about making the re- the suitable repairs and uh, heading back for uh, the island that you came from? <sighs> or what are you doing? Or are you going to go back to where the sunken ship? I'm not going to lie. Are you going somewhere totally different? Guys, where are you going? I, yes. I want these fucking yep. bastards. Fire a few warning shots off into the sea. I'll do the same. Saw them. I'll do the same on the, other, okay. on the other side of the ship. Roger that. Okay, you guy, you open fire. Okay. You roll to hit? Whoa. No, the, roll to hit what? Yeah. Does anything happen? Do we get a response? No. Does the meaty underboat re- re-emerge? But upside it does down not. now? It does not. Uh, see, I don't. The target was in there in the boat that we sunk. And now Did we it, get a backup commandant to chase? The letter was unfinished. Sunk. The crew was skinned. We Can I the make ship. a perception check? Can I? I'm going to wake up at this we point. We didn't see oh, him die. Very cold. Oh, fuck it. All right, just check around. Is there, no, is there any major There's leaks? sort of left? ringing in your ears. Are there any major leaks left that I can see? There's a few leaks about the place. Can I, I'll, okay, I just sort of. I want to leaks. casually patch them. Yeah, I'll um, give Jeff a hand patching those as well. And then I want to head back up to after as I'm carrying buckets of water up, bailing out the water that's in there. I would like to look around just to see if there's any sort of like other smaller land masses or islands that they could protect, or rocks or something that they could have. Someone might have jumped off the boat and swum to, say, escaping the monsters. Say, someone like River could have walked across water and ends up on an island or a rock or something. Uh, there's nothing visible. It's you just are open ocean. Malrus, roll D100. Okay. Oh, still. Interesting. Uh, that is a 76. Ooh. Uh, you glow with a bright light in a 30-foot radius for the next minute. I can deal with that. Any Malrus, creature, that, 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 now you just any show creature it that ends its turn within five feet of you is blinded until the end of its next turn. Malrus, you should just bloody show it off now. Can you just stop it for a second? Will you, will you turn yourself off, Malrus? <laughs> You're floating and glowing now. He's literally a bloody lighthouse. I bring you love. There's nothing to... Come on. 
I don't want to go Sorry. back in there, dudes. We can't take we can't take on a vessel of that size. I'm, not, I'm hurting though. pretty bad. I'm but where is it? Shall we? I bet it will reappear way. when we go back in. Shall we get Shall the uh, the pub out and ask take this. a bit of a rest? Let's go yeah, and speak to our new gen. friend. Okay. What's happening then? Who's going I'm, where? I would like to take a short rest in the pocket pub portal as well. I would also it. like to take a short rest in the pocket pub okay. as well. Okay, cool. You can still do that. floating about. Pop the handle. You are. Down. I want to hey, see roll get... D100. What do we get to roll for that? Oh. So, is there a bonus for the pocket pub? Yes, uh, it gives uh, you yes. an extra D8 oh, worth of hit points. Oh, yeah. It certainly does. Yeah. Okay. yeah, so I'm going to roll my summer. So, yeah. Uh, 65. 65. You're all rolling some quite high numbers today. Oh. Maurus, mm? up to three creatures you choose within 30 feet of you take 4d10 lightning damage. Ooh. How I'm many in the pocket pub. pub. Yeah, I'm in the pub. There are lots of bees around. <laughs> pick, yeah. pick a bee. Go for bees. <laughs> go for okay. bees. I'm not going to make you roll 4d10 to hit some <laughs> a poor casual piece. seagull flying solo on a journey <laughs> in some Pixar film on its own. Just or <laughs> Bill, despite his magpiness. Hey, look, <laughs> it's Maris's, it's Maris's lightning. If he wants to hit Bill, he can hit Bill. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to hit. Um, <laughs> I'm going to hit the bees. <laughs> okay, fine. Thank you. Thank you, Maris. <laughs> Three bees. Within 30 feet of you, get utterly obliterated. <laughs> Just <laughs> turn to dust. <laughs> I don't believe it. What's the difference between a short? What's the difference between a short and long rest then with the hit dice? Long rest, you don't need to roll. You just oh, you get just everything. get it all back. Okay, so short rest, yeah. I just have to roll. So but a long rest is like a, a like a, a night it's sleep, not yeah. doing anything. Yeah, you've got to have a long sleep. And, whereas a short rest is 20 minutes of inactivity. Uh, it's four or minimal uh, activity, like. Uh, you can. Eight. You don't want to be walking somewhere. You can sit in like a, a carriage Nine. or something, and get a short rest, or you can be on deck and just chilling out. How much do um, you get back on a short eleven. rest? Eleven. You you can you can roll as many hit dice as you want, but uh, you get an extra d8 if you do it in the pocket. Yep. You roll as many dice as you want. So you've got some hit dice. So yep. on your sheet, yeah, yeah. this is useful for people who are new to short rest. Yep. Um, on your sheet, you have a box that says uh, hit dice. Yes. And you have a, and I'm it back. will have a number and then the letter D and then another number. Yeah. So that tells you how many and of what kind. So like mine you says, per long mine rest. is 1D6 per level. So I can roll yes. up, up to, to six. six. Dice. Yeah. Yeah. But, I, but six. because I'm on the pocket bar portal, I also then get an extra D8. Another D8. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That gave um, me a total of twenty-five points, and so I'm back up to full health. I can, I can roll. Nice. More, actually. Uh, cool, uh, okay. I'm back up to forty. Nice. Now. That's good. Yeah. I got. Let me guess. I've got to roll one. Sixteen, yeah. seventeen total. Uh, yeah, one more, please. Okay. Just one. That's a four. Oh, four. What you get for a four? Uh, for a four. Uh. For the next minute, you can see any invisible creature if you have line of sight to it. Mm. Where? Ooh. Oh, can you see the ship? That incredible while ago. Where's? Have a look around for a ship, or people might that look like they're on board something yeah. ship shape. <laughs> ah, ship shape. <laughs> <laughs> look, I mean, look everywhere now. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at. Shall I roll perception? Yeah, roll perception. <gasps> if there's ever time for a natural twenty, this place is it. That is a crossing his fingers. Sixteen. Uh, Sixteen. Yeah, you don't. You don't see anything. Oh. Interesting. So I haven't seen like Casper sort of squelch up next to me. And gone, oh. <laughs> it's a stamp. monster. Kill it. <laughs> Just stamp on it. <laughs> <laughs> He's hiding in my sleeve still. He is. Yeah. yeah. He Has is. he calmed down at all yet? Will he talk to me? I don't know. Will Matt, the guy? You, since we're in the you, pool, are you still about? Casper, There's no response. Oh, you are still okay. That just can you just let me know that you're okay? Just one little or something, just to say that you're okay. Okay, okay. I'll leave oh, you be. That's, that's, I'll speak to you in a bit. Oh. That is so heartbreaking. Oh, I know. I don't know how to help. How do I help my baby feel better? 
<laughs> I think, Not take him to a pub, probably. Yeah. I think we should have a chat yeah. with a new... Yeah, a therapist. Uh, Where's... Uh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, the yes. friend as well. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> They're not yeah, your the friend. friends, they're therapists, they're professionals. <laughs> uh, they're friends going, if they take money off you. Yeah. Are you setting a course, setting sail and going to speak to him, or are you just leaving Maros to do his thing? Well, I'm still floating on him. Um, I thought it disregards no. each thing, didn't it? No. no so do just, I land on deck stacks. as a sub then? You do, yes. The, the thing that gets disregarded is the roll of the one or the two. Oh, okay. Yeah. You can't um, roll another one and yeah. get another minute of constant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, you two are in the pub oof. with the eyelidless man. Yes. Yes. Yep. Yes. How, how is he doing? Can I roll an insight check on him? Yeah, because I want to come. Yeah, I, I mean, yes, you can. Yeah, roll insight. Nat 20. Mm, mm, mm. He's obviously terrified. He is still sitting, hands over his face, rocking back and forth, just muttering to himself. They're coming. So the battle that started and our bucks chose to run for monsters who skin people and have been at sea too long. Nearly all of our crew held their ship take flight. Even Bell bitched in, but Keth chose to fight. As the enemy ship slowed, Bob threw out some bees. A torpedo hit the ship, but Mowers mends it with ease. A spot of wild magic, then their foe disappears. So it's into the pub to heal up with some beers. What's with the eyelidless man just repeating his mantra? Well, you'll find out next time on Road Britannia. Podcast Network. Tired of ads crashing your comedy podcast party? Good news. Ad-free listening on Amazon Music is included with your Prime membership. Just head to amazon.com slash ad-free comedy to catch up on the latest episodes without the ads. Enjoy thousands of ACAST shows ad-free for Prime subscribers. Some shows may have ads.